Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Cody, man. Back with another one. What's up, you guys? What's happening? Hopefully, everybody's doing well, having a great day, staying safe, blessed, and all those good things above. Okay. So as you can, as you guys can see inside the title, it says how to make a portable Cody. Okay, portable copy of your Cody. So most people are gonna ask, what is a portable of Cody? Okay. A portable is just like a Cody fork, which you can use multiple ones and have multiple installed on your PC at the same time, okay? That's what a portable is, okay? You can have multiple um, multiple Cody um, platforms installed on, on your PC, okay? So if you got like maybe like two or three builds that you guys, that you really, really like, well, you can install uh, multiple ones, okay? I'm gonna show you today how to do that. Very, very simple, very, very easy. I had somebody ask me this probably about a couple weeks ago and I gave them their another different video. So I'm gonna, you know, I just figure I'll make my own little video of it, show you guys how to get it done. That way you guys can have this for yourself, okay? So, as you guys can see, I already have right here at the bottom, I have Cody already installed on here, okay? So um, what we're gonna do is, I uh, want you to go to this uh, Cody.tv, okay? I'm gonna leave the link inside description where you can go, okay? And this is for, uh, for Windows, okay? I don't think, It'll work for Mac. I don't think so. I'm, I have no clue. You guys, I don't mess around with Mac at all. Uh, I'll maybe in the future, but for right now, it's this is for Windows. Okay. So um, you want to pick either 64 or 30, 32 bit. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and pick 64 bit. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Okay, so it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and open up that folder. And you guys can't see this because some other screen, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and just drag, drag this over here so you guys can see everything, okay? So it says, welcome to Cody setup, okay? So what you're gonna do is click next. You're gonna click I agree and you're gonna click next and then okay destined folder okay so let's let's X out of this first let's X out of this first okay so now before you do this okay make a folder okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and go down here to new folder and I'm just gonna call this test okay so um, this is the folder we got we got test okay so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back up uh, I'll bring this back up okay so destined folder okay you want to put this inside the folder that you created okay don't go ahead and put another no other folder put in the folder that you created for it okay so click browse okay and go down to I'm gonna go down here and find test okay here it is right here all the way at the bottom okay it's test so I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click okay okay now it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna go to that folder okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click next and I'm gonna click uh, Do not create shortcut. You don't want to create a shortcut. Uh, let's leave it unchecked, okay? Because we want to make sure we get all that. Just leave it unchecked, okay? Click install. 
and what it's doing right now you guys it's actually installing instead of installing that um that this Cody to that uh that to your system it's installing it to that folder okay so it's acting like it's it's its own but there's a few things after this that you're gonna have to do to make it so this portable okay and I will show you guys here in a minute and that is the magic trick okay so we're gonna wait till this gets done it should be almost done here shouldn't take that long really really super nice you guys maybe you got you know a couple things you're working on at the same time and you you know you you want you need an extra uh a, an extra portable and then what's the good thing about this you guys you could take this anywhere you want okay you all you have to do is drag this on a thumb drive okay just put it on a thumb drive and you can load it up any any other computer okay from any other computer not from not from no android from another computer okay because this is dealing with what windows we're dealing with windows okay so it should be almost done here still in the last bit Okay, so I'm gonna pause this real quick until it's done because I want to keep you know you guys on the video that long. So I'll just pause this real quick. Okay, you guys. So um, it's done setting up. It's done. It's done installing. So you don't want to right here. You don't want to click Run Cody. Do not click this, okay? Because it will override your main Cody inside your system, okay? So don't click Run Cody. What you want to do is you want to click Finish, okay? We're just going to close this out, okay? We're going to open up this folder that it installed it to, okay? So we're going to open up the folder, okay? And here's the Cody folder too. So here is everything that is installed for Cody, okay? So what you wanna do is, this right here is the application, okay? So you wanna right click on it, okay? And you wanna go down here to where it says, create shortcut, okay? So you wanna create a shortcut. And then you create a shortcut, and it creates one right next to it, okay? So you wanna, right click on that shortcut okay and then you want to go down to properties all the way at the bottom click on it okay and as you can see right here highlighting is your target path okay so you want to make this a portable okay and what you want to do is at the end just click on it at the end you want to leave a space you want to put a dash and you wanna put P, okay? Dash, space, and then P, okay? After you do that, you click apply, and then you click okay, okay? Now, you can take this Cody shortcut and drag it anywhere you want, okay? If you wanna drag it on your desktop, you can do that, or um, you could just do, you can wanna rename it, you can rename it, okay? Whatever you wanna do with it okay because this is part of the shortcut but you want to make sure um i don't know if you drag it outside the folder if it'll work it probably should but you know what i mean if it doesn't just put it back in the folder okay but it should work though but um yeah this is everything you hear so what you do is you can drag it out here that shortcut and you know you can keep it on side your desktop I'll show you, just show you, it starts right up. Uh, 
I might have to switch the display on it. <clears throat> yep, because it's not it's not starting in it's starting on my main display. So I'll I'll switch it and show you that it it did start up. Okay. So if I go here and go to interface, wait, hold on. Okay. So I gotta allow it. Click allow. Hold on. Go to display. Monitor. Oh wait, hold on. So it did start up, you guys. I just can't, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to get it to go on my right display. But hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can get it to HP. There it goes. So it did. So here it is, you guys. It did start up. Um, and as you can see, it's portable. And you guys can take this and you can um, put on a thumb drive, you know, take it with you. You know, maybe if you wanted to show it off to somebody, you could do that if you have a build on here. So very, very super, super nice, you guys. And it works just like as an Android Cody fork, okay? So if you want to use multiple, this is for all my PC people, you know what I mean, that like having multiple Cody forks and Cody builds on their, on their PC. Well, here you go, you know what I mean? You can use this. And also, what you guys, I want to show you something, okay? I want to show you something. Um, let me go ahead and exit this out. I want to show you something real quick before I go ahead and end the video. Now, as you guys can see, everything is in here, okay? So you have control over the add-on folder if you want to delete something or if you want to make changes, okay? And you have access to the... Uh, the user data folder, okay? So if you don't, I'll show you guys some other things too, how to make a real good copy of your build, okay? But um, yeah, it's, everything is here. Everything is here and inside this folder, okay? And you have your shortcut out here. You can drag it, you know, wherever, put whatever you want it on your PC, rename it, okay? Even if you knew how to put an icon on here, I'm sure you could do it. Okay, I'm sure you could do it, but I'm not, I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. All right, but um, you guys, here you guys go. That's how you make a portable copy of Cody. You guys have a good one. You guys stay safe, stay blessed, and hey, I'm most definitely see you guys on the next one. Peace out.